I thank President Biden and his team for hosting this important virtual summit. I've known President Biden for some 40 years. I know the strength of his commitment for stronger action on climate. This is a commitment we in Israel fully share. I have pledged to reduce Israel's carbon footprint and to completing a successful transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy by 2050. We've already made crucial progress in two specific areas. In coal, we've substantially reduced our dependency. In fact, Israel is a global leader in cutting coal consumption. By 2025, that's four years from now, barring unforeseen circumstances, Israel will no longer be burning coal, period. In solar energy over the last five years, we've increased our generation from 2% to almost 10% this year, and we're committed that by the end of this decade, renewable energy will be providing over a third of Israel's electricity. The challenge we still face is solar energy storage. My government is working to overcome this challenge and make Israel a global leader in energy storage. This will enable us to revolutionize our use of renewable energy. Hundreds of Israeli startups are working on this project and on related issues. These companies have already received billions of dollars. They'll receive more because I'm convinced that Israeli science and Israeli ingenuity will enable us to play our part in the global transition to a net zero carbon economy. In water, too, Israel is making a big difference. We've shown the world how to use water more efficiently in agriculture through pioneering developments in drip irrigation, hydroponic agriculture, and the use of artificial intelligence. Israel is a world leader in water purification and recycling, as well as in desalination. About 93% of Israel's wastewater is purified, and 86% is recycled for use in agriculture. These are very big numbers. And cooperation in the fields of water and renewable energy are also an integral part of our new cooperation with the UAE and Bahrain. So not only are we working to end dependency on fossil fuels and finding solutions to the climate crisis, but we're helping to cement Arab-Israeli peace. And that bodes well for the entire region, for the entire world. Thank you.